Hi. In this video, I will show you how to do a tolerance design of a piston pump. The objective is to establish which parts and tolerances to use for the design. I have prepared a model of my preliminary design in Excel. I have a cylinder manufactured with a certain tolerance, to keep it simple, I have combined the flywheel, crankshaft and piston into a stroke length, again with a tolerance. Then I have two valves which both have a certain leakage, before they close during each stroke. Finally, I have a speed control unit which controls the RPM. With these values, I can calculate the nominal flow rate. The formula may look a bit difficult, but it calculates the volume displaced during each stroke, minus the valve's backflow, times the number of strokes per minute. Now, I need to make a stochastic model of the pump for my Monte Carlo simulation, so I copy the model. Now I need to replace the nominal values with stochastic functions. I will assume that the cylinder, stroke length and RPM are normally distributed. I also assume that they are manufactured with a CPK of 1.33. Since I know the tolerance and the capability, I can calculate the expected standard deviation for these parts. Now I enter my normal distribution function for the cylinder and copy the formula down. For the valves, I make no assumptions. Instead I have actual measurements done on two types of valves. I will use the samples to fit a distribution. There are many potential distributions and transformations to choose from, but I will take the Vable distribution which is the first suggestion. I copy the formula for the standard valve, and paste it into my model. I test the model, by pressing F9 a couple of times. The model works, so I designate the stochastic flow rate cell as an output. I want to calculate the capability, so I enter the specification limits for the flow rate. Finally, I run the simulation. This doesn't look good. The capability of the pump is poor and there are many defect pumps. The problems are mainly caused by poor valve performance. Let's try to use the high Q valves instead of the standard valves. I go back to my valve measurements, and fit a distribution for the high Q valves. and paste it into my model. I test the model by pressing F9, and then I run the simulation. This looks better, but the capability is not sufficiently high yet. The problem is too high variation in the RPM caused by the speed control unit. Let's assume that we can tighten the tolerance to plus minus 0.75 for the speed control unit, while maintaining the same manufacturing capability. Yes, this certainly looked better. The capability is acceptable, and we have no defect pumps. This is just a brief demo, of how you can use Monte Carlo simulation. In this video, we have produced 30,000 simulated prototype pumps with different parts and tolerances, and evaluated their performance. It is a very powerful way of investigating how components variation propagates through the design and affect the overall performance. If you want, you can download the Six Sigma Toolbox and the Piston Pump model from www.johansonconsulting.com for free. I hope you have enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.